What's up food fans? My name is Jesse and I'm a fellow foodie out of Phoenix, Arizona and today we are in the frigid mountain town of Flagstaff and uh, we're going to be seeing what this little mountain town has to offer, what they're serving up and our first place is going to be the toasted owl right behind me which is a cozy little breakfast pot so uh, really looking forward to seeing what they've got and I am hungry so it is time for some breakfast. Let's go check it out. over easy eggs and potatoes it looks absolutely delicious can't wait to dig in because it is cold outside and I need something warm and full of carbs to keep me going for the rest of the day I also got a uh, never-ending coffee because coffee all day delicious. The gravy is salty, it's delicious, creamy. The biscuits are really fluffy. It just takes me back to grandma's kitchen when I was a kid. Um, very nostalgic meal. Can definitely see why this is the most popular thing on the menu. Let's try these potatoes. Oh yeah. Great potatoes. The eggs are cooked perfectly too. I'm just really excited to finish this meal and get on with the rest of the day. So if you find yourself in Flagstaff and you need a little bit of breakfast, something to carry you through the day, highly recommend Toasted El Cafe. They're gonna get you taken care of and get you on to the next part of your journey. So uh, yeah, maybe I'll run into you. I'm gonna finish this up and we'll see you at the next place. Okay, so it's right after breakfast. I'm still pretty full, and that means it's time for a nice glass of mead to warm me up from the inside out. So we are at the traditional mead hall. There's trains going by, there's ice getting chipped. It's chilly, and we've been invited to uh, come on in and warm up, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, let's check out what the mead hall is serving up. Okay, so we are at the Drinking Horn Mead Hall, and we got a flight of uh, mead, and uh, so we've got uh, traditional, there's apple, strawberry, um, there's uh, plum, cranberry, and then uh, we got kind of like a one with a little bit of tea, uh, some cinnamon, and some orange peel. So we're going to give these a taste and see what we think. Are we good? Yes. Awesome. Start with this traditional. Really honey forward, nice, sweet, subtly dry. Not bad. Not, bad. Not your favorite? Never had meat before, so I didn't know what to expect. She's never had meat before, so I've had meat a few times, but this is exciting. All right, so we'll try the apple. Ooh, that is delicious. I could literally drink that all day, every day. That one's nice? Yeah. Okay, so strawberry. I like strawberries. Sounds good. Wow. Not as sweet as the apple. Very strawberry. I think that uh, flavor complements the honey really well. It kind of tastes like awesome. Okay. I like it. <laughs> Okay, so this is the metheglin. This is uh, orange peel, black tea, and cinnamon, which 
is a peculiar combination, I think, when it comes to mead, but I'm really excited to try it, something a little different, so. Ooh, it smells like the holidays. That's nice, it's very different. It's a little dry, not very sweet, but um, I don't know, tell me what you think. I, I like that a lot. It's very drinkable. It's more cinnamon forward than anything. It's this it smells like cinnamon. Mm -hmm. It tastes like Christmas. Tastes like Christmas. Okay, so this is the plum. Uh, this is the one that I'm looking forward to most. I heard that this one is the driest of the bunch, so we'll see. Well, yeah, that's definitely not sweet at all. It's interesting. This one tastes more like wine. Yeah, it definitely tastes more like, like a crisp white wine. And now, finally, the cranberry. It's pretty. That is delicious. That might be my favorite one of the bunch. What do you think? This one's good. good. Yeah, I think the tartness from the cranberry really cuts against some of the uh, sharpness of the mead. Um, Absolutely delicious. So, uh, what did you think for your first time tasting mead? It was really good. Uh, for traditional mead, very sweet, very honey, mm -hmm. lots of honey. Um, I really like this one. The metheglin. Yeah, the Christmas one. That was good. So, um, yeah, I've had mead before. There's not enough mead halls um, around, but they are definitely growing in popularity. So if you haven't tried mead before, I highly recommend it. It's definitely worth your time. Start with a flight, see what you like. Do you like bone dry? Do you like it a little on the sweeter side? Do you like it fruity? Do you like it not so fruity? There's a, a lot to explore with mead, especially if you are in the craft scene, whether it's wine, beer, coffee, cocktails. Uh, this is definitely one to add to your repertoire, so I can already feel myself getting warmer from the inside out because it is uh, below freezing outside right now, so this was a perfect place to come and uh, really, really dig the ambiance. Um, uh, our server was extremely knowledgeable and helped us find the right choice, so uh, finish these up and, I don't know, might have another glass, we'll see, but uh, one thing's for sure, we'll definitely catch you at our next location. So we're here at Lumberyard Brewing, one of the many breweries that Flagstaff has. Uh, they make really great beer, and I heard they've got fantastic chicken nuggets. And after that mead, it's time for a beer, but you know, a little snack sounds good because we did some walking around, and uh, I'm feeling like some chicken nuggets, so let's go check it out. Okay, so they had a lot of different beers on tap, and they all looked delicious. I was debating between the porter or maybe like a light lager, but I ended up settling on their uh, specialty beer, which is a cherry sour. Um, I like sours. Uh, I know they're not for everybody, but after that mead, it seemed like a good choice. Uh, even though it's cold out, I was ready to try something a little bit more tangy. Uh, so the mead was very sweet, so comes in an adorable glass. It smells really good. Let's give it a taste. That is still really good. It's not that sour. You definitely get the cherry from it. It's definitely still got a beer quality. Um, I really like the viscosity and the mouthfeel to it. I mean, it's just a testament to how well they can do uh, a sour beer. It's absolutely delicious, and I think it really hits the spot. So I'm really looking forward to those chicken nuggets, and uh, can't wait. Okay, so chicken nuggets. Um, they look delicious, and uh, who doesn't love a good chicken nugget on a cold day? Let's give them a try. They are hot. Delicious. I feel like a kid again. I'm eating chicken nuggets, I'm drinking cherry beer, and then flag stuff. I'm having a good time. So Lumberyard does a hell heck of a lot more than just chicken nuggets and sour beer. But if you're looking for a solid grill, pub, 
brewery, when you're in Flagstaff, Lumberyard is 100% the place that you should check out. So uh, maybe we'll run into each other next time you're up here, all right? Cheers. I'm going to eat these nuggets, and then it's time to get some coffee. See you at the next spot. Okay guys, so I am here at the infamous Rendezvous Cocktail Lounge, which is connected to the Monte Vista Hotel in downtown Flagstaff. This place is gnarly. I'd heard a lot about it. I found some information online and it just seemed like the place to go. Uh, I decided to get myself a little espresso martini because I was feeling bougie and uh, I also needed a little bit of a pick-me-up. So uh, let's, let's check this out. And then uh, also I've got a whiskey chai here as well. So we're going to try two different sides of the same coin and see what we think. <laughs> that is absolutely delicious. Chocolatey. Uh, earthy, you get that espresso forward flavor. You can still taste the vodka in the background. It's an absolutely perfectly balanced martini, but I can definitely tell having more than one of these, uh, I would, I would want to be stumbling back to my room if I was staying here tonight. So if you are a fan of cocktails and you are in Flagstaff, then I would absolutely recommend coming out to Rendezvous. It's definitely a spot for you. They've got a great menu. Um, a lot of it is, uh, coffee forward, but they've got a lot of other drinks as well. An interesting spot, knowledgeable bartenders, and a really great menu. So, uh, yeah, so cheers with this, and uh, let's give this whiskey chai a try. Nice warm mug. That cinnamon smell is just hitting me just right. Cheers. That is heaven. Sweet, creamy, you can really taste that chai. You still get that bite from the whiskey. It's not covered up at all. That is absolutely delicious. I would want to have that for breakfast for sure. So overall, got to try a couple things. Rendezvous, hands down, absolutely an amazing cocktail spot. So if you're in Flagstaff, put it on your list because you will not be disappointed. Cheers, and I'll see you at the next spot. So good. Okay, so we are at Dark Sky Brewing, which is another one of the many breweries that exist in downtown Flagstaff. And uh, they also have Pizza Cleta, uh, which is a local pizza restaurant uh, that is located inside. So we're gonna go grab a beer, we're gonna grab a pizza, we're gonna get warmed up. And uh, yeah, let's go grab some food. So here we are, we are at Dark Sky Brewery with uh, featuring Pizza Cleta and uh, I got a uh, nice chill beer which is actually called In the Dark which is a dark um, lager. So it's uh, described as being kind of a bridge between people who want something that's a little bit lighter and crisper uh, with people who appreciate the dark chocolatey notes of like porters and things like that. So really looking forward to trying this. And then I uh, got the Bee's Knees Pizza, which is going to have uh, mozzarella, it's going to have some mascarpone, it's going to have some sausage with some honey and a little bit of sage. Uh, definitely a different style of pizza, but I wanted to do something a little different than just like pepperoni or like a mushroom pizza, so I went uh, a little crazy. So we're going to give this a shot. Everything looks phenomenal, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, give things a taste. Wow. That is so good, it's so different, very drinkable. This is also described as being like the perfect beer for a snowy day and it absolutely is. It's got those rich malty chocolatey notes that I'm really looking for with the porter, but you know, it's lighter, uh, not as heavy, which is really nice because we've been eating and drinking all day long and walking all over this beautiful town. So 
This is an excellent addition to uh, the journey for today. Very drinkable, uh, smooth, refreshing, crisp. Uh, definitely a testament to Dark Sky's brewing capabilities to be sure, and I haven't found a dark lager anywhere else, so uh, definitely recommend the dark lager if that's something that you're looking for. I got water. <laughs> She's thirsty. All right, now we're gonna give this a try. Uh, it looks great, smells fantastic. Really looking to see how those salty notes from the cheese play off the spices from the sausage, mixed with a little bit of sweetness from that honey. So let's give it a shot and see what pizza cleta is all about. Wow. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. What do you think? It's really good. Oh my god. It's everything. Herbaceous. Got a little bit of sweetness, not too much. The honey's real light. And that cheese really stands out. The sausage is fantastic. Um, the dough is really what makes this pizza soft, the smell. Definitely came fresh out of a wood-fired oven. Probably was only in there for like 90 seconds. Um, this is a fantastic pizza. And one thing I realized about Flagstaff, it is a very pizza-forward town. So if you're having some trouble deciding which pizza place to choose, Pizza Cleta uh, in one of either of their locations would definitely be the choice for you. So when you're up here, give them a try. They've got a variety of different pizzas worth checking out, so uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm gonna finish this and uh, see you at the next spot. We're in our final location before we head back down to the valley. Uh, we are at Grand Canyon Brewery and Restaurant, so we're gonna grab a final beer and a little dessert, something sweet to kind of uh, complement all that salty that we did earlier today before uh, we call it a night. So uh, let's go check out what they're serving up. So for our final stop in Flagstaff, we had a great time and uh, decided to swing by Grand Canyon Brewery. So I got the uh, American brown ale because America. And we got a brownie sundae because we've had a lot of salty foods and it was time for something a little bit sweet, right? Because... Dessert. Dessert. <laughs> that's right. So uh, let's try this ale and then we're going to dig into this brownie sundae and see what that's all about. That's delicious. Malty, chocolatey. Earthy, perfect complement to the cold, snowy night and uh, the very chilly day that we went through. So, I think it's also going to work really well with the sweetness of the brownie. So, you want to uh, dig in? Chips. Oh, here. Yeah, break that cracker. Oh. That is delicious. Marshmallow, hot brownie, chocolate sauce, ice cream, whipped cream, graham cracker. Oh, really good. Well, I think there's a perfect way to sum the evening up, to sum the whole day up. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Hope you enjoyed uh, the video. And if you go to Flagstaff, definitely check out some of those spots. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them in the section down below. And uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers. Are we on the same track today or something? Thank you.